Yo, so since everybody want me to talk about this shit, I figure I talk about it. So y'all want me to talk about this shit, so I'ma talk about it. So first up, my man got mushed, right? But he threw the fucking hat up like the bat signal. You know what I'm saying? It's the black signal. Then he started to get packed out because he a little overweight. White dude was roughing him up and shit. And then his homeboys came in. They felt confident. The girl was even like amping up the set. Then my man came out of nowhere. Now that hat that he threw up, that hat actually got niggas alerted. So they started fucking being alerted to the situation. My man runs down. You know what I'm saying? He just trying to talk it out. He trying to slow it up. He trying to get everybody to, but dude swing on him. So he like, fuck that nigga. And he started helping the other dude up he start helping him off the ground he see he getting packed out they outnumbered but then my nigga swims across i've never seen a nigga in water swim like like this nigga michael phelps he climbs up i think he lost his khakis but fuck all that he was with the shits he just got wet cell phone probably fucked up but now my man the security guard and guy he didn't got rescued so now he feel confident right and you know what i'm saying it's about four five niggas with him then the avengers roll up these niggas start pulling up their pants with black air force ones you know shit about to go left niggas is not about to do no talking a white dude want to talk to you fuck that you get slapped he slapped that nigga he tried to run to the back of the boat fuck that his bitch is up there screaming she trying to get out the way them niggas is getting packed out then the biggest Brad comes out of nowhere and just proceeds to get packed out by about 17 niggas. Now the white girl tried to get her lick in. I don't know why she tried to do that shit, but she got fucked up. Now, a lot of people want to know what's my sentiments about the whole shit. It's about time niggas in Montgomery, Alabama was getting it in. They was getting busy because that fucking beat down on Edmund Pettison Bridge that John Lewis used to talk about getting packed out back in 64. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a new day. White people, keep your motherfucking hands to yourself. Stop feeling brody. I guess because these, mo these motherfuckers' population is dwindling. They starting to feel themselves. Now, me, I like to talk shit out if I can. I don't really like to pack nobody out for some stupid shit. Right? The security guard asked you to move the boat. Just move the fucking boat. Why you got to act like a dickhead? Then you seen what happened. The Black Avengers came and whooped your ass. A lot of that shit was probably misplaced hatred. Right? You know, the shit that's been happening to black people getting shot by the police, vigilantes, shooting niggas like Ahmaud Aubrey. Like, like we just not feeling white people. So when niggas try to be calm, respect the first time a nigga asks you something. Especially like the security guard, he in a position of authority. He asks you to move the boat. You could just move the boat. You want to get drunk off of course lights and bud lights, you got fucked up and packed out. It is what it is. On that note, we're going to leave on a Sam Cooke soundtrack right this seems fitting i'm out i was born by the river in a little tent oh and just like the river i've been running ever since it's been a long a long time coming but i know